Hello everybody, this is the High Rise Elevator Lover, and you're looking at a fountain in a parking lot right now. But behind me, you will see the Hyatt Place Hotel, Roanoke, Virginia, near the airport. And I would like to dedicate this hotel tour to Appalachian Elevators for our meetup in New York City. Alright everybody, let's walk inside and take a look at this interesting hotel. I must say, it's quite interesting from what I found. And here's the main lobby. They have tactile sensors, which is nice. Registration desk, and there's a seating area over there. Now, hmm. first thing I'm going to start off the bat by showing you something interesting. As soon as I find my way around to it. Here we go. I'm going to show you something interesting. The pool has the weirdest layout of a pool in a hotel that I've seen in my life, I would think. Let's show you this. So, me being blind, I wouldn't see the hallway here. I would think I'm going outside until I open this door and I'm in a hall hallway that's hot and humid. And why? Because there's a pool. So where's the pool? Right there. I'm gonna wait for those people to move out of my way. card reader and the sign is supposed to say pool but says EL. Nice braille. Here's the door. As you can tell it's locked. Here's the card. And they did a nice thing at this hotel. They cut the corner of the card. I can actually feel it. And the door opens because it's unlocked now. I'm going to take a walk into the pool area. I would say it's... No, I'm just, I'm just walking around. It smells like chlorine and pool. And there's the pool. You can tell there are kids playing around out there. And there's your outdoor. There's the actual door to the outside. Making a run for, you're making a run for cover? I said, are you making a run for cover or are you heading outside? Uh, ah, well, go ahead. You can go in front of me. Head on out. Those doors are unlocked. And out there is, you know, there are people leaving and entering the pool. A bunch of kids out there. Now here's the outside door, the actual door of the outside. I'm gonna open it up, just because. Let's step outside. We're in the back of the hotel. This is the back parking lot. These hotel doors are supposed to lock. The last time I checked was just a few minutes ago. They were open. There's a car reader over there. And yes, they're open. Let's go back in. And they're shut. And now let's go see the rest of the hotel. I could not find a business center in this place, but I did find a fitness center. And that is the next stop on this tour. Let me come out this way. And we're back in the hotel. Actually, I'm going to take you down here first. So you can listen to... That's right. Listen. Here's your elevator equipment room. It's properly locked like it's supposed to be. It says elevator equipment room. That sign is brilled correctly. Now let's listen. There's relay logic in there.
you can tell one elevator is coming down, the other is going up. It's a two elevator Otis Series 1 hydraulic system. Going down, going up, stop, or no, going down, stop. Now they're both stopped. Uh, now they're stopped. And the one that just came down just opened. It'll be going up in a minute. I'll let you hear that and then I'll show you the rest of That one's going down and it's stopping. This one's going up. Just a minute. There it goes. It's going up. And that's just the door of the elevator equipment room. You can hear the sound of the elevator equipment. Just thought y'all would find that interesting. A lot of people like to listen to hydraulic motor startups, and really the best place in a building to do that is the elevator equipment room. And that's the closest you can get to it, is standing right in front of it. Now, this is just a room hallway. Hey man, can I help you find anything? Uh, no sir, can I help you? No, no I was just going to help you, oh, no. you if you need anything. This this blind guy's got it all figured out. Perfect. <laughs> I was hanging out in the balcony, just chatting on the front, and I thought I'd ask. What balcony? Uh, I mean, on the uh, in the entry. Yeah, there ain't no balcony here entry. that I know of. Entry, yeah. entry. It's just bathrooms. Yeah. Entry. Uh, oh yeah. On the the right here is a woman's. I know. Okay. I checked this place out half an hour ago. Perfect. Do you know where you're going? Uh, I'm going to third floor, three eleven. Ah. Thank thought you, you were heading towards your room. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I was standing sitting down here to have a talk with my friend here. Ah, nice. Thanks. Oh, hope you have a good day. Uh, anyway, I'm going to run upstairs. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to the elevator. No, I'm going to wait on, I'm going to go fitness center. All these people are getting on the elevator. Excuse me. Hope you have a good day. Thank you. And here comes the kitchen on the right. That is the hotel's kitchen. Now, I will show you the hotel's fitness center. Also, I could not find a guest laundry. So I can't find guest laundry or business center. But I will ask the staff if they know where those are. Door opens. And it's a very nice door. Now, fitness center is almost empty. I think it's empty. So you can see you got your standard fitness equipment. Of course, I can't see it. I can feel this. Um, it feels, yep, this is a treadmill right here in front of me. I can tell that by feeling it. And this is your standard fitness equipment. Now, I will show you something about this door. I'm not going to do it on the door. All right, actually. I could it almost. But this door, in most hotels in the fitness center, so you know it's a little older, you see out the glass door there. But this fitness center door has a deadbolt. Most of them do not. In order to keep people from locking the doors. Now we'll feel around this door to see if the actual deadbolt part. I think the part that housed the deadbolt was actually filled in. But the deadbolt itself still exists. All right, everyone. Well, this has been pretty interesting. Now, to my favorite part, get some elevator action. Like I said, a dual O2 Series 1 hydraulic system. Place a call call here in the lobby. Huh. You know, if I can endeavor not to walk by the elevators, which I just keep getting turned around, but no matter. I'll figure it out one year or another. And here we are at the elevator system. Here is the hall call station. I'll place a hall call. Elevator to the left is open. Now I will turn the fan off for the duration of the up trip, but I'm not gonna do anything else right now. Fan off, and go to six. Fan's off, listen. Get an indicator from back here, I think. That chime is needs a little bit of work. Listen. 
This might have, I think this might have been the elevator Andrew got. I've gotten both of them. I'm going to send this one down and get the other one. I'm going to turn the fan on. I'm at six. That way I return it to the way I found it. And I'm going to step out on the floor and I'm going to place a call call from here and see if I can get the other car. Send that down. Standard Otis Series 1 square button fixture. Down arrow. I love Otis Series 1. Now here's your standard fire sign to read. This says sixth floor up above. That whole part's not in braille. Epic fail. And in case of fire, use stairs. Maybe that part's in braille, but I don't think that thing's in braille. Just says sixth floor, and I don't know if it says anything else. I could get a look at the sign. I'm gonna try and get the other elevator up here. Just to show you if there's any difference in the chime. Come on, get up here. It's moving. I think these elevators are really busy. Now, let me give you the time. It is currently 10 or 9.59 p.m. Almost 10 p.m. or 21.59, 2200 hours if you like military time. Here in Roanoke, Virginia, on so was the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, on the twenty seventh of November, two thousand and fifteen. So November twenty seventh, it's almost ten o'clock at night. These elevators are as busy as if it was five o'clock in the afternoon. That is not right. Too many people checking in late. Well, we're one of them. So right, here we go. Hello. Okay. No one gets off. So I'll show you the chime. I'm not going to turn the fan off in here. But you can tell the chime is much, you know, more in tune and concise. So I'm going to get a cab view going down. So there doesn't seem to be much down traffic. Well, that sounded good. Five. Four. Now you can tell the motor in this elevator. Or rather, you can tell that the... I think we're only two going down. And the chime, the solid four pressing chime, is much better. Going, going down? Oh, yes, sir. Into the lobby, I assume? Yes, sir. Going to the pool or just? Uh, no, going, going to the funeral home. This lady? Oh, is that why there's so many people here? Maybe. Oh, yeah, because they're staying at the Hyatt. This is the one we reserved. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I can. There were, like, a lot of people at the pool. Uh, this. You know, there's about more people checking in. It's like it's 5 o'clock, but it's oh, not. It's Late. 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going back up to 6, so... Definitely. Later, man. Appreciate holding the door. You too. Thanks. All right. I just placed a hall call to 6 and... Fan off. So I just placed a car call to 6. Fan is off. Motor's very quiet in these... So I'm just going to turn the fan back on and leave it that way. Like I said, the best place to hear the motor is the machine room, sadly. Well, that door, when it gets to five, doesn't sound very good. I'm going to take these, or I'm going to um, I'm gonna see if I get called first and then I'll end on a floor somewhere. I'm just going to end on two. Yeah, these all are so busy. They're open service right now. Four. I'm gonna end this tour on the second floor. I'm not gonna show the room because dad's in there. Here we are on two. We're leveling. And the door is going to open here. There it goes. And that's it. If I have anything else to show, it will be added to this video. Thank you for watching. And this is dedicated to Appalachian Elevators. I hope you all enjoy this. And I don't know if anyone else has done a hotel tour here, but this is the Hyatt Place in Roanoke, Virginia, near the airport. So if you get a chance to come to Roanoke, just check this place out. Six floors.
pretty decent. I think I've said the weirdest feature here is the pool. So that, and I'll go ask them if they have a business center or anything of that variety here at this hotel. But I basically found everything almost. All right, everybody, that's it for now.